What's up guys, we're back. Like I said, whenever I got back, really was gone like the whole day. Um, that I was going to, um, I was going to play the uh, gauntlet or the pit. So here we go. This is a tier one or tier four. I don't know how many there are. I think there's like maybe 100, maybe 150. I don't know. But we're going to be running these from now on just to level up and just to experience the pit. It's a new mechanic they added, a new um, feature, new uh, activity, I guess. They added it in World and Season. The season four, season four. My time it looks kind of goofy with this. Um, Chainmail. But I'm level 100, and I'm dying from poison. Dying from poison. Um, I didn't realize they were level 100. This is a tier 1, so I'm still going to try to see this through. And if you die, you get a death penalty of 30 seconds. Yeah, I just use one of the potions like immediately. I'm still getting poisoned. I don't have much time left. Oh, I do. I have a little bit of time, but I don't have I don't have very good health regen. I'm only level 78. Not really good to deal with uh, that high level of enemies. I'm just waiting for my health to regen. It's going up by the hundreds, so that's pretty quick, I guess. Stuff. I shouldn't even be here. The poison is like probably the worst thing ever to face when it comes to like a big gap in level from power. So it's just like so persistent. Everything else like you can probably avoid or but you're gonna hit some poison. I don't think that's fair because they're gonna like stand behind people and give them the authority to feel special. You know, do they really are they really special? I'm not ready yet. I think anyone that has the um idea to feel special, you know, like oh, I'm gonna I feel special. I think that's enough to solidify that they're special. Like that's not something I'm going for because I think being normal is a little bit more magical than uh, being special. Being special and doing like content is very predictable. There's really not really anyone to compare to. There's not really anyone to compare to, so. Nothing like that. Oh my god, bro. 60 seconds. That actually moves a lot. Because if you die over and over, you remove more and more time. So it goes from 30 to 60 to now it's 90. I guess maybe it adds 30 seconds to your time. I'm out of fury. I'm out of fury. Got the shrine over here. Let's check it out. I think I might have a chance of completing this. This is only a tier one. Should be fine. I'm not ready. I 
gotta beat the boss, he won't be good in me. And hopefully the next tier... The tier 3 dungeon isn't full of poison enemies. It's really like no tier. I guess I'm gonna go back and try to kill the enemies to make sure I get the mastery. I'm not ready. I, enemy. I thought there'd be like extras, but there really weren't any extra enemies. Yeah, they're going to clear at this point. I hate having to run back through here to look for enemies. Because I don't have no clue where they're at. It's not that big of a map, but. Where could they be? I'm a flick. Play the pick guardian minions. I should have just jumped in there and fought the boss. I didn't even worry about doing this. Because I don't see any enemies back here. Maybe, like, I lose some points or something. I'm a but never mind, I think that little bit left is really for the pit guardian. I think if I kill him in like five minutes, however long I have, seven minutes, I'll be fine. I feel like this could be tweaked better. We're like I'm getting killed by poison or like AoEs being the only threat. Like it should be a lot more like visible of what's affecting you. You have like a, a symbol over your head or something, I don't know. It's just too like hard to see what really attack what what really hit me. I'm a Okay, here we go. I had to kill a certain mountain. There was actually a portal to the next thing. and all that up to tier four so we're gonna do all the tiers of course tier two we're gonna do all, all of them in order So the tiers aren't unlocked, you have to craft them. Oh no, they're right here. So what was the whole crafting thing about? Crafting. I'm not ready yet. Wonders of sanctuary at your fingertips. Craft sigils, enchant items, salvage. Yeah, this isn't anything. What is master working? Select an ancestral, fully tempered, legendary, or ancestral, unique item to improve the affixes of. Well, I have two of these necklaces. I can roll the dice on this other necklace. Where is it? It's not here. The affixes. More than of mass working though. What you need? Huh. I said mass work. This I've had this for a long time. All oh, that this is increased by. Do I get these from um the pit? Yeah, that's what I thought. 
Dang, 100,000, upgrade it, increase the ethics by 5%. Does it cost to the, apply the tempered ethics as well? It does. It's pretty good. Very expensive. But upgrading the ethics is no matter what. Mass working it up to 12 times. And having those affixes, that's going to be pretty good. This is actually pretty decent. I really can argue with the RPG element of it now, with tempering and, ma and mass working, and having to work all the materials. Okay, yeah, you have to, um, to access to, wait, why can't I open it? I must need something, because I can't open this. Let me look this up. I see some type of material I need. Rune stone, rune shards. I need rune shards. I don't think I have any rune shards. Says I can uh, fight in world tier dungeons and not world tier dungeons, nightmare dungeons. Um, whispering caches have them. I only have three of them. How do I? How do I get a lot of them? Let me look that up as well. How do I get a lot of, of these rune shards? The people in the pit can reach level level 200. That's insane. That's like what I like to hear. <laughs> level 200. So I have to do the whispering caches. I have to do a nightmare dungeon to get more um, more rune shards. So I have to basically have three per tier. How many tiers are there? Looking up on my phone right now. There are 200 tiers, so that's gonna be cool. That's gonna take some time. 200 tiers. Really, just getting the rune stones is gonna take time, and then you know, high enough level is also gonna be. Once I'm a high enough level, and I have enough rune shards, I'll be fine. I need to find out if I need to like complete a light dungeon that's like tier 46 or higher. The same way I unlocked it. If I can go to like a lower tier, I'm not Now getting a complete character and doing all the activities. Not that you need to do like 200 tiers of the, of the pit every character, but. Just the idea of someone doing that eventually is going to be like, you're definitely going to need to be monster to see them and you're going to have to like, have some time to do that. Yeah, we've got two enemies down here. Once you discover them, they won't teleport. 
So make sure you kill the enemies in these dungeons and all the enemies. Make sure to kill all the ones that are on the map. If you see red dots, you have to get them. Usually they'll teleport to you, but since I discovered them, you know, I can see them on the map. It wasn't basically going to happen. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. I was literally put, put up a menu. Yeah, this is getting pretty cool. We're like, there's a lot of high end stuff to do now. With the bosses, that's one, and then you know, um, the pit's another cool one. I don't know. I'm trying to think what else. What, what else could they add? I'd like, I'd like a way to just play with people in a dungeon, like queue up for a dungeon that I choose. That would just be like enough for me. That alone is like, I'd play the game. I'd be able to play another class and all that. I'd just be able to enjoy the game a lot more. Um, there's another class I could play with someone. But not just like all the time. I just want to play like certain parts of the game that I think would be more enjoyable, like a dungeon. But, you know, playing people makes the game way harder, so. So I'm looking for runestones. I gotta make sure when that we're done, I look for runestones to drop and look to where they're stored. Would it be so different than sanctuary? That's kind of upsetting that I need a currency to access every single tier. If I want to enter a tier twice, I need runestones. So like it's gonna be just before getting the runestones. It's gonna be hard because I have to do a micro dungeon, I have to do a western cat. I can't just access it, you know what I'm saying? Let's go past these enemies. And also, um, the, the goblins end it, but it's still, they're still XP. Like I said, they're going to end the goblins today, on the 13th, I think it is. And they're going to let you have XP in the 20th, which is cool. But I wish they would have had the goblins. They definitely gave me like such a, a leg up. It's just how, many, how much loot was dropping, getting the beat. From the goblins with treasure bags. Like it just made such a big difference. But in a way to like really compare, like you're just gonna have to grind three times, four times as long to re replicate that. I wonder if they're gonna keep the treasure bags in though. You know, they added the treasure they added the treasure bags, dropped up tre treasure bags. I wonder if they're gonna keep treasure bags in where goblins now drop treasure bags. That'd be kind of I doubt it though. Got some distilled fear, but I didn't get. I didn't get any uh, rune shards. That's not good, because I just did a whole dungeon look, looking for rune shards. <laughs> I don't think they're stored in my consumables. They're not consumables. They're probably in materials. You got gold. You got obols. Red dust. I got pretty high light resistance. I need some poison resistance for sure. Yeah, that's not cool, buddy. Oh, it even shows my dust devil uh, stuff. But like, size. You can get 100% increased dust level size. It's probably huge. Fury regeneration. Fury cost reduction. Maximum fury. I need more life per second. Life per hit would be good. Healing for potions. That's pretty terrible. Maximum life. Thorns. I got some good thorns. Damage trouble zerking. That's pretty good. Oh, just close. Pretty good. Do we build? Okay. Yeah, that's... That's terrible. What I'm gonna have to do for some shards. Let me find, like, I have a tier 48. Let me do the tier 48, right? Let me see if that gets me rune shards. I feel like that's the case, that I have to do, like, 
tier 46 and above. Because that's maybe how I got the first one. So I did my first 46. Ugh. I did my first level 46 dungeon. To unlock the pit. Maybe that's how I, I also would get rune shards. Having to do dungeons at that level. Which are like level 100 dungeons basically. I really think I really don't think people could really last. They should really lower the requirements to get the pit unlocked, and they should just lower. They should lower the pit for accessible lower level characters. another pathway this is a pretty easy dungeon though i'm not gonna lie this is pretty easy i almost got killed that right there but there's no poison so i'm kind of used to struggling fighting higher level enemies and a big poison and that being like my panic all right here's a good test if we kill enough goblins maybe if we kill enough enemies with the great charm maybe um goblin will spawn we can see if the goblin can Get to go. Let's, let's hurry up. Get all that money. I need every single bit of gold I can get. I basically have a bleed. Um, a bleed. Paragon board, but it's for Berserk. And I'm not really gonna be able to utilize that until I get the legendary affix to this Paragon board, right? Where I, where I get it, have a 10 percent chance, chan chance of getting Berserk and increase my, um, you know, Berserk damage bonus, which is good. But I'm waiting to uh, throw together this ring I have that allows me to have Rend applied when I charge enemies, which isn't really important. It has to be like a split step. It has to be like right when I hit them with charge, rend and fly on them. So like charge, clearing out all these enemies should give me berserk. So now instead of me having to use double swing to, to gain berserk, I can just keep charging for berserk, which is just way simpler. Like I'm not, I'm not really sure if that's going to happen. I'm not sure how that's going to work, but we'll see when the time for the build to come together. If not, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not just relying on the one one. If not, if not that. I didn't know that enemies can go over, like, level 100 and 1. They can go up to 200. But I guess, you know, people will probably imply that, yeah, you can go over 100, you can go up to whatever, you know, whatever they would think you can go to. You can go up to level 200 enemies. That's insane, I like. You have to have a really crazy build for that to be possible because you're only level 100, right? Like, there's only so much you can do. I don't really know how much levels play into the um, character's overall stats, but I'm sure it plays a lot. 
sure it has a lot to do with that. I think, I think this dungeon's just to destroy the cops' files. Once I do that, the dungeon probably will end. That's what I think is gonna happen. Oh no, there's actually a boss behind this door, so we know that isn't necessarily the case. I think it's for like for what I can for what I can think of from, from what, I, what I've made like my second best build. I put this behind um, my overpower build because just the amount of damage I can reach. I'm a I don't know. I'd probably say they were neck and neck because this is fast and the other one's slow. I guess I had to really give more credit to this one. So Let's we'll see if we get those uh, ring shards here. I'm a Please. Okay, okay. So, let's see here. Did you get any rune shards? Maybe I'm getting them and I don't know. Oh, three rune shards. Okay. 